What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So while I was at work, I saw that somebody on Reddit got something working that I've been trying to do for a while. So Stadia working on iOS with controller support full screen with a browser. Now I've been trying for well over a month with all kinds of different browsers and tricks and things to try try to get Stadia to work on the iPhone or on the iPad and just have been unsuccessful. But that's about the change here with this browser app called Stadium. So we're going to go over and I'm going to show you setting this up on the iPhone. We'll screen capture the iPhone and I'll show you downloading the app, setting it up and running Stadia and running a game. But before I do that, I wanted to acknowledge this user here and acknowledge this post and read over this a little bit. So over the past few weeks, some tricks were floating around this subreddit to get Stadia working on iOS 14. I just decided to ship a highly specialized browser app to the App Store, which can make doing this super easy. Stadium is a full screen, mostly single page serving browser that allows you to change the user agent and supports any game controller iOS can understand. When you open it, you give it your primary URL and a custom user agent. Simple enough. This is how we get some things working sometimes on Mozilla, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, Edge, whatever on the PC. So very interesting here. Now my concern is that Apple's going to pull this app. Um, I would not be surprised if this gets pulled, but as of right now, uh, we're still good to go. So there's the direct Directions listed right here, but more importantly, we're going to jump over and like I said, we're going to screen capture my iPhone and I'm going to show you downloading this app, getting Stadia going and uh, and showing a game running there for you. So let's jump over and take a look at how to set this up and how to play Stadia on iOS. All right, guys, so over here on the iPhone, go over and search for the Stadium full screen browser app. It's going to look just like this. Click the get button, do your little account thing, and then once it loads up, you can click open. Now, once you get into the app, you're going to set your primary URL, and that primary URL is going to be the stadia.google.com slash home that you're going to see me uh, type in here and that you saw over on the Reddit page. That's going to set uh, the Stadia as your home page. So once you get through that, and forgive the forgive the typing, guys, I'm multitasking here uh, like crazy. But once you get that in, you're going to do your user agent string. And I'm going to leave this in the description for you below as well in case you don't want to go find that on your own. So once you do that, you can click done. And the next thing you're going to need to do is authenticate. So you're going to want to be able to, uh, you're going to want to click those three little dots down there for the browser. And you're going to click the authenticate tab. So I'll show you that now authenticate and now here's where you're going to go over and you're going to type in your accounts.google.com and that's going to get you over to your login to authenticate for this particular browser again sorry for the slow typing here guys we're just going to kind of go through this it's um there's a lot going on here right now. So once you get this in, it's going to take you over to account sign in, which of course I'll have to cut out, but I'll just show you. It takes you over here. There you go. So sign in with the account you use to play Stadia. Now, once you've done that and click done, you're going to be able to go back here, click those three dots again, and then click go home. And at this point, it should take you to your home page, which you have authenticated, and this will be your Stadia account. You can see controller linked. I've already linked my PS4 controller through Bluetooth to my iPhone and that's what I'm using to browse right now or you can use the touch screen. Again, sorry for any quality issues here from the screen capture from the iPhone guys. I just wanted to get this thrown together for you guys. Don't judge the game quality based on this. On the iPhone right in front of me, it looks amazing. Running very smooth. I can tell it's running 60 FPS. It feels really nice. No stutters and the picture quality is really good. So don't don't judge it just based here on what you're seeing. But I just wanted to show you that it does work. When you do this on your phone or your iPad, it's going to look so much better. So let's go ahead and get loaded into Tomb Raider. I'm just going to walk around a little bit so you can see the game running and just show you that it is in fact working. Now this is a really cool workaround, but remember this is a workaround. This is not something official, so it may not work for you. Or you may have issues with it, or even worse, like I said, Apple might just pull this app at any time because they don't like it. Um, it doesn't just work for Stadia. I've actually got it working for some other things as well. So we might have some more videos coming up on this Stadium app. So here we are loaded into the game. Again, like I said, um, don't judge the picture quality uh, here off of the screen capture. On the phone, this looks really, really good and was playing really well also. And I played some other games too um, before I made this video just to make sure it was working good. Uh, and it definitely was. I had no real issues uh, at all. The, uh, the quality on the phone looks really nice. 
It wasn't stuttery, you can see here as I move around a little bit and pan around. It's just that the iPhone doesn't do a very good job of capturing uh, this, but it was the only option I had at the moment. We'll do, we'll do some things differently in the future with that, but at least you can see that it works well here. At least you can see it's not stuttering or cutting in and out or having a lot of issues. The audio is steady with that background audio you can hear. There's no audio latency or drops there. So um, really happy and really surprised at how well this is working. So hopefully this will work out for you. I will leave information in the description below so that you can copy and paste and do a few things that way as well. This is pretty easy to set up, but like I said, it is a workaround. So if you have issues or it doesn't want to work properly for you, just keep trying over and over again to set it up, see if you can get it working. But I'm definitely not going to guarantee that this is working for everyone, but it's definitely a cool way uh, for now until we get something official to uh, to play Stadia on an iPhone or an iPad. So uh, no issues for me. It's been working really, really well, and it looks really nice, like I said, on the iPhone screen. This looks super crisp, super nice, uh, no issues at all, but in the screen cap here, it's just not looking, looking real great here. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. Running Stadia through the Stadium app, on your iPhone or your iPad. Definitely works. You can definitely play Stadia on iOS this way. So thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me your comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.